Thyroid disorders are disorders of thyroid gland, either causing underactivity or overactivity. And in rare cases, you, we can also have cancer of thyroid gland. Either underactive thyroid or overactive thyroid can be caused by antibodies in the blood. When antibodies are checked and it is causing underactive thyroid, it is commonly known as Hashimoto's. Whilst if antibodies are positive and someone is overactive, it is commonly known as Graves' disease. In addition, the other common cause of overactive thyroid is presence of multiple nodules in the thyroid gland, which is called nodulator. Very rarely, drugs can cause both underactive and overactive thyroid. It is very common to see underactive thyroid after surgery and after radioactive iodine or people living in iodine deficient areas. Different types of thyroid disorders mainly consist of hypothyroidism, which is underactive thyroid, or hyperthyroidism, which is overactive thyroid. Very rarely, we can have cancer of the thyroid gland which is generally detected by presence of nodule in the thyroid gland. The main symptoms of underactive thyroid are feeling tired, weight gain, constipation, dry skin, and generally feeling unwell, including impaired memory or impaired concentration. The main symptoms of overactive thyroid are Restlessness, fast beating of the heart, that is palpitations, tremors, sweating, and sometimes diarrhea, weight loss. It is very simple to find out whether someone is suffering from underactive or overactive thyroid. First, to go by the symptoms as described, and secondly, to confirm either underactivity or overactivity by doing thyroid function tests. On the basis of thyroid function tests, it is very easy to determine the condition, underactive or overactive. Following this step, we must ensure the reason for the pathology, which is why underactive or why overactive, in which case very special antibodies need to be checked along with sometimes ultrasound scan, which is jelly scan of thyroid gland. If somebody is having symptoms as described before, either of underactive thyroid or of overactive thyroid, medical attention should be sought. Generally, overactive thyroid or underactive thyroid can be treated with medication and surgery is not required. The only circumstances when surgery is required is presence of huge enlargement of thyroid gland, which is causing uh, compromise with breathing or swallowing. Or in some instances, for cosmetic reasons, somebody would like to get the thyroid mass removed. Or very rarely, if somebody is intolerant to medication and cannot have radioactive iodine for treatment of overactive thyroid, then surgery is an indication. The most effective medication for underactive thyroid is thyroxine, which is called levothyroxine, which is a standard form of therapy. However, in five to 10% of patients, they continue to have symptoms despite taking thyroxine and despite normal blood tests. Those are the patients who may require special medical attention, expert opinion from thyroid specialists to see whether some of them can be suitable for either T3, liothyronine therapy, or natural thyroid. The treatment of overactive thyroid is mainly medicines. Medicines can be given in high doses of carbamazole or tapering doses of carbamazole. The other form of treatment for overactive thyroid is radioactive iodine yeah, sure. followed by surgery in very rare cases as we discussed before. But the commonest way to treat overactive thyroid remains medication.